Hello, we're about to get started with JavaScript. So this first short video introduces you to the JavaScript console. We're in Chrome. Safari and Firefox also have a JavaScript console, which you can open. Uh, in Chrome, you go to the View menu, you go down to Developer, you slide over to JavaScript console, and you open it. And if it opens down here at the bottom, I think it's usually going to be easier to put it on the side. And I like mine on the right side. You can also put it on the left side. So what we do in the JavaScript console, and make sure that you've selected console, not one of the other things, because if it looks like this, you are not in the console. Um, you can do math in here. You can do all kinds of things. We're going to try out JavaScript commands, and it's a really nice, easy way to do it because we don't have to open our code editor. We don't have to save any files. We can just quickly see how things behave. So if, for example, I type console log, and I'll talk about that in a second, and I type a phrase like this, what I get is the same phrase given back to me, but it no longer has quotation marks around it. It's just printed to the screen. So that's one of the things that console log does. Um, well, that's actually the main thing it does, right? It prints something to the screen. And say we were doing some math in there, uh, like this. Um, you know, it would give us an answer, and it's pretty much the same for math as actually just typing it. Let's see if I can type exactly the same thing, right? But console log you're going to be using in some programs, and so even though it's awkward, console.log, and then what comes after it has to be inside parentheses, it's something you're going to see. But luckily, here's a trick. Press the up arrow on your keyboard, and you'll actually repeat commands that you wrote before. And you can go in and edit them. So you don't always have to keep typing, typing, typing. You can go up and down, and then go in and edit and do the same thing again. So that's a handy thing to know. Another handy thing is to be able to clear this. You type clear with a pair of empty parentheses, and you clear that console, so that's also a nice thing that you can do. One last thing I want to show you about console log, and we'll be talking more about this later. So if I type a nonsense word like foobar, but it's in quotes, and they can be double quotes or single quotes, and I hit return, it just spits it back to me. But if I forget the quotation marks, if I fail to use any quotation marks at all, same exact word, no quotation marks, I get an error. And this error doesn't hurt anything. But if you get this error, something is not defined, it probably means that you're trying to use a word that you wanted to put in quotation marks. And we'll be talking about that next. Why do we have to use these quotation marks?